Welcome to Productivity in Real Life, where we talk all about your favorite productivity applications like Evernote, Notion, Todoist, the Microsoft Office Suite, and of course so many more, along with actually putting each of these applications to use in real world examples. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and of course share this video. Let's dive into another episode of working with Evernote. This time around though, let's have a look at one of the many third-party plugins, if you will, or add-ons that you can use with Evernote. And uh, that's one of the nice things of Evernote is it's been around for a while. There's what's called an API that is available for developers to basically hook into Evernote and do some different things for your notes. I won't say to your notes, but for your notes anyway. One of those is at a site called canvanote.com and this lets you use Evernote as a Kanban board just like it shows here on screen. Save time by getting a quick Kanban view of your notes. Log in with Evernote or you can look at their quick start guide. Here's just a, a basic example on screen here using a basic to-do list, done, doing, to-do next, to-do soon, to-do later. And this service is actually free of charge. Of course, there is limitations. Uh, free of charge gets you, I believe, one, one Kanban board. If you pay uh, a few dollars each month, I think that opens up to unlimited. And we'll talk about that here in a, in a couple of moments once we get into it. Set up your Kanban in two minutes. Connect with Evernote. Plug in your credentials to log in and connect the two together. Start creating your lists. And enjoy the Kanban view. So let's just show you how to use Canva Note. Get started. Now, I've already used Canva Note, but you'll get something very similar if you're signed into Evernote already. You, instead of reauthorize, it will simply ask you to authorize Canva Note. You may have to enter your, your login credentials and your password. So we're just going to continue on here, reauthorize for one year. And away we go. You'll have a slightly different view over here because I've already got a few boards that I have created. This one here I've deleted and we're just going to create basically from scratch. Uh, you get a few options over here. You can go to subscriptions. 245 euros per month. So it's a little, little pricey. You get some features though, unlimited number of boards, multiple tag support for each of your list, no advertise, no advertisements and priority support. It's actually not a bad deal if you're if you're gonna use it. Dark mode. Earn rewards through cryptocurrency. I've I don't uh, bother with that. Maybe I should. Quick start guide. Features lab, if you want to request some new features, you can do, do that through here and see what other people have suggested. Status, in case it's not working for you, you could always check here and see if it's working. Download the app. You can actually create a progressive web app going through this option. We're just going to hit back and what that does is just give you the web view just like this on your desktop, on your Windows desktop anyway. We're just going to stick to the normal web view here for this demonstration and you can go to their Facebook and Twitter feeds and then of course log out. So using Canva Note, it's pretty simple you've only got one option, create a new list. And a list is each of these columns that will come down the screen. So what I want to do is use my productivity in real life notes in Evernote 
and those happen to be scattered across a variety of different notebooks. So we're going to start with ideas, select a notebook, I can select one notebook, but again I've got ideas scattered throughout my entire Evernote system, but tags project dash IRL dash YouTube pending are all of my ideas. You'll see it's added here and it's searching through Evernote and pulling all of those in. Here's our ad that we get on Canva Note on the free version. Create a new list. What's our next column going to be? Next video ideas. YouTube next. I'm going to leave the notebook blank so it pulls in everywhere out of Evernote. Create a new list. In progress videos. And finally, completed videos. Complete. And you know what I'd also like is quick reference to my project notes. Right there. Save. So you can already see it gives us a count at the top of the number of items in each list. 119 different ideas. I've got this one here using Kanban view for Evernote as a next video idea. I've got a few videos already in progress that recording has started. And I've got my completed list. And I've got my project notes. You can grab the hamburger menus and reorder these columns if you'd like. Of course, widen our screen if we need to. Now, Canva Note is linked to your notes. So we can go in and click our little edit button. We've got delete. We've got open the app, view the note in the actual application. I don't have any content in there, but there's the note. We've got web view, so you can edit your note from the web view. Again, no content in the note itself, just the title. And we've got a save changes option here. We've also got some of those same features duplicated down here with these buttons. Save, delete, open in the app, open in the web. Canva Note lets you make changes. Here's one in your title. We're just taking that hashtag blue out of there and that will also show us that that's how we color notes in our Kanban view. You can see some reds and orange and purples here. Purples are my Evernote notes. Notion is supposed to be red. So we can just go in and change this to purple because it is an Evernote note. We hit our check mark. What color was my OneNote one? Blue. Put blue back on there. And hit save. As you saw, when you go in and edit some of these, if there's content in them, you can actually see it here. Some things it doesn't format all that well, but it's enough to give you 
the gist of what's in the note. In this case, another blank note. Um, this one doesn't render at all properly. Basic notes will work fine. But that's the basics of editing your notes. You can shuffle orders around. It's just a drag and drop. Um, like I said, we can edit titles. We can add colors, purple, yellow, red, blue, green, gray. Um, I'm not sure if there's any more or not. Once your views are all set up in Canva Note, this is where the power of an actual Kanban board comes into play. So next video ideas. Here's a good one here. We're already recording this one. This is what I'm doing right now as I speak. Kanban view for Evernote productivity. We're going to take that from a next video idea and we're going to move it to in progress. Drag and drop right to the top. Next video ideas is empty so we could perhaps find something out of our ideas. Say hey I want to, I want to do that. Here's a, a duplicated note on my Kanban view. I've got some other information in there that I want to keep so I'll have to look at that later. We're going to also drag that into an in-progress video. Let's do this next. Two minute tasks. We'll do that next and it's a Evernote one and I'm just going to change the color here to purple. So then, after I'm done this video, we're going to take our in-progress project and move it over to completed. And what happens is when we jump over to Evernote and we sync our changes, this note episode 004 Kanban view for Evernote productivity the tags are going to have changed to show that it's now a completed video YouTube complete if we go back and drag it to an in progress item jump back to Evernote here do another sync look at that instantly YouTube in progress if you are a paid subscriber to Kanban Note, when you're setting up your columns, you can actually add extra tags in here to do multiple tag searching as well. But for the basics of getting things done, uh, planning different simple projects, single tags work just great. And if you need more, more boards than the one that you get, again, you need to be a premium member. Again, it's well worth it if you've got multiple boards that you're working with throughout the day. Anyway, that is it. That is a quick view on how to get a Kanban board view out of your Evernote notes. Great for getting things done for doing the Kanban view flow of tasks, projects, all that kind of stuff out of Evernote. Take a look at it, kanbanote.com, and get started on using Kanban boards with your notes. Be sure to leave your questions down below in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks for watching Productivity in Real Life.